Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Today's tutorial, I'm going to show you two different methods to create an outline around your text in Canva. So we've got two different ways we're going to do this. Let's just jump right in. Okay, so you can see here I've got this first one, and there's actually three different kind of things going on. There's this dark blue base layer outline. And then there's this lime green kind of skinnier outline. And then there's the pink main text. And this one down here, we just have the dark blue base layer and the lime green inner layer. But you can see that the base kind of goes on the outside and the inside of the letters. There's a couple different things that we're going to use to create these effects. So first of all, let me just add a blank page down here. And we're going to start with our word. I'm going to type a T to bring up a text box, and then I'll just type the word outline. Okay, now let's change the font. This right here is the Frankfurter Highlight. Um, I love this font. This is fabulous. It is a font that is only available in Canva Pro. Um, if you don't have Canva Pro, I'll put a link down below where you can try it out free for 30 days. Um, anyways, so this is the first one that we're going to be doing. So here we have our main word outline. Let's turn it that um, pretty bubblegum pink color. Okay, now let's get the solid base behind it. So I'm going to duplicate this. I have right clicked and I'm gonna hit duplicate. And we're gonna do our first effect on this one to get that thick shadow outline base layer. Okay, so we're gonna come up here to effects. And Canva has this new feature now where you can actually add an outline. So let's do that. But you see what it's done here. It took our original text, the bubblegum pink, and it just kind of outlined it in this um, darker mauve type color. That's, that's one thing that you can do if you just want to be done there. You can do that. But for the effect that we were going for, and let's look up here. It's this three layered kind of effect. Um, to get this, there's a few things we need to do. So first of all, we want both of these to be the same color. We want them to be that dark blue. So I'm gonna click the text color up here and we're gonna turn the text dark blue. Okay, and now we need to get that outline layer dark blue as well. So come and click effects, because remember this is an effect that we have added. And it gives you some options here to customize. We're going to click this color box and we'll turn it dark blue. Okay, so now they are both that same color. If we slide this back behind, let me do this position. And um, send it to the back. If we slide it back behind, you can see we're starting to shape up here. We're starting to get this effect that we're going for. But what we want to do is get rid of these little gaps that were a part of our original um, original text. So again, click Effects, and you've got this thickness here. If we slide this up, all of that goes away. And I just did it until it was gone. It's up to you, whatever font you're working with, however you want it to look. I just did it until all of those little holes were gone. Put that up there now. Okay, we're looking good. Now we need to come and get this green layer here. Okay, so what we want to do again is duplicate our original word. Our original word was this one here in pink. So I'm going to right click and duplicate. You can also hit uh, Control D and it will duplicate for you. Okay, now what I've done here is this same font in a different style. This is not going to be available to you on every single font. So I'm going to come up and I'm going to change the font from um, Frankfurter Highlight to just Frankfurter Normal. Okay, so do you see what that did? It got rid of all these little lines that were in there. And now we're going to use our second text effect. So select your word again, Effects, and this time we're going to choose hollow. And that's where we get that outline from. 
And again, we can bump up the thickness, bump it down. I'm actually gonna take it down for this particular thing. And we're gonna turn it that green color. And we'll just slide it up and we need it to be at the front now. You see how you can hardly see it? If we use our position and we just bring it forward, there it is. Okay, I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker actually. Get my effects, bump that up just a little bit. Okay, so that's how we created this first one. We took our word outline, we duplicated it twice. So we have the word outline three times. Our original one, which is the pink, our first duplicated, which is the blue, and our second duplicated, which is the green. On this blue, we did the outline effect. On this green, we changed the font so that it didn't have these little cutouts in it, and we did the hollow effect. We put all three together, and we ended up with this three-layered outlined design. Awesome, awesome. Okay, let's see, how are we gonna do this next one? It only has two layers. Okay, so again, I'm gonna type a T to pull up a text box, I'm gonna type the word outline, and I'm going to change the font. We're just gonna do the Frankfurter normal for this one. And I'm just gonna make it big so that you guys can see what we're doing. Okay, so this is going to go ahead and be our um, base layer, the one that we're gonna turn blue. So let's get this blue. There we go. Okay, and let's duplicate it so we can do our text effect. I just kind of moved this one up out of the way a little bit. So this is the one we're gonna do our text effect on now. So come and get your effects. And we're gonna do this hollow one again. And let's go ahead and turn, oh, effects. We want our effect to be green. So let's see here. It, it is right there. Okay, let's turn that green. There we go. And let's make that a little bit skinnier. Okay. Now this one, our original word, we are going to use the um, other effect. We're going to use the outline effect so that it gets a little chunkier. And we're gonna turn them both the same color. So we've got this blue. We wanna select our color box here, get that blue so that they are the same color. And now when I put them together, I've got that border that's a little bit thicker and my inside, which is a little bit skinnier. And again, I can mess with these if I want. I can click the effects and I can make this outline thicker so that when I put this on top of it, you see it's got a thicker border or it's got a thicker outline around it. That's really all there is to it. We just use the effects button here and we kind of just switch between the hollow and the outline and we can adjust however we want. And then depending on the type of font that you're using, you can even add this third layer in here for a really cool effect. All right, guys, that's all there is to it. We'll see you next time.